This is a typical morning at Porter College. It's a sound I've gotten used to during my time here. Through, thanks for that. Through watching these birds, I am met with the question as to why they are here in the first place. To answer that, let's take a step back in time. During the latter part of the 1900s, turkeys were being brought from Texas to California for hunting purposes. However, the birds quickly acclimatized to life in the Golden State. They rapidly reproduced and now occupy over a quarter of the state, with UC Santa Cruz being one of their main stomping grounds. In the present day, it's almost a rarity to not see a turkey on campus. They follow the same paths that we do during our day-to-day -day routines. Although they may look threatening, during the springtime these birds have much more on their mind than chasing students, as it is breeding season. Gobbles, kicks, and wing scrapes are all common things to hear as males duke it out on grassy patches all over campus for exclusive access to females. But why are there so many turkeys specifically on campus? There is one simple answer to this question a lack of danger. If you think about it, they only have three real threats. Mountain lions, coyotes, and the occasional car. Besides that, they are free to roam wherever they please, with crossing the street being one of their most dangerous activities. That being said, they're not scared of cars either. <laughs> Food, water, and shelter are all readily available, so they basically live on campus carefree. But the real question is, how do they get along with students? Besides being unwanted alarm clocks, and occasionally digging through our trash, it's a moderately peaceful coexistence between the students and the turkeys. They also occasionally observe us and our activities as well. Though turkey attacks have been reported on students in the past, most of the time they'll pose for a quick photo and send you on your way. We as students just have to accept that we live with some pretty noisy neighbors. And as long as we don't get in each other's way, we can both happily call this place our home. <laughs>